So hello everybody, welcome to Creating with Love Crafting. I am here to do a Timu review with you. So you don't have to. No, so it's only a few dies, maybe six or seven. So let's just get started and roll on with it. Okay, I bought these beautiful little tag dies a while ago. And I wanna say that these guys cut like butter. They are very, very nice dies and just a tight thing. Um, if you feel them like right here, you could feel that they are going to cut as soon as you take them out of the package. And right here, it does emboss. So it has a stitching line and it has, ooh, I left the paper in there. And it has the little scallops here or the lacy part. This is a very pretty tag die. And then it has the little one. So these are, and I forgot to get this out. Um, the small one is, um, four inches long by two inches wide. So that's a small one. And the tall one is perfect for, um, junk journal cards. So the tall one is um, five and a half inches by three. So that is a very, very nice set. It's a set of two dies and it's perfect. So this is the first die that cut out and here is all of the stitching that you see that goes around with it. Somebody is texting me. If you hear that, that's my phone. So um, this is a very nice die and I did try other papers and it worked well, very, very well. So this is another I had bought just for uh, doing reviews like this. Um, I had bought a scrap pack from Hobby Lobby, which is better quality paper than the um, I got rid of it all. It was the Dollar Tree scrap packs. It, um, the Dollar Tree scrap packs weren't very good for die cutting. So you can see all the stitching along here and how it just has its own little design and how pretty that is. And look at the lacy edges. Really, really pretty. Now I could have done these in different colors and more different things. But I just wanted to get this done with you um, so that we could do this review really quickly. Now, here is another die that I really did like, but I still had to help it cut along here. Like I said, and the only reason I put them back in their um, plastic bag was to keep everything together. So now it's going to go on its own magnet. So I like the way this cuts, but you still have to help it with scissors. So you get this piece, which will be, and I'm going to put that down. And I kept that piece on there. I don't know uh, what that is, which is four and a quarter inches long, I believe. No, nope, a little over five and a half, four and a half by three and a half inches wide. So that's pretty big. It's nice for a card. Okay. For um, one of the smaller cards. And then you get this one, but you don't just get the frame. You get the square inside. So you get two pieces, four pieces. And I'm not sure what the little one. Yeah. Six pieces. So the middle piece is if you wanted to make a tag or a picture frame out of this, you bump it up with some mounting tape. And then on the top, you don't put any here, but you put a handle on the picture and you just slide the picture underneath in and out. You could put acetate here so that it will be protected in your album, but that's 
um, how I used to make uh, photo albums. And this one is four inches long by two and a half inches wide. The smallest one is a whole piece, but it cuts out in two. Now, I think it's the bigger one and this one that needs help being cut out, but that's fine with me. If you don't like that, then don't order it. If you don't mind that, that's fine. It's just a straight line to cut. And I think there's another one that's like that too that I bought. So three inches long by a little over one and a half inches wide. So here are the pieces you get. You get this piece, which will go inside the large piece like this. You could slide this in and out. If you set this up with double-sided tape here, here, and here, you can slide this piece in and out if you trim it a little. You don't even have to trim it. And you put a piece of, let me use this for a handle. If you use that for a handle, you could just slide it in and out of its thing like that out of its frame like that in between the double-sided tape but you get two pieces per frame that you have here so that and that and then that with that look how pretty look at the pretty little holes there really really nice I'm going to bring one up to show you the holes so there you go I'm not sure where I had to help this. I think it was on this side to help it cut. But this one comes in pieces. And it has separate pieces. And I'll take it out. So here they all are. Um, I don't know how, how they go. I'm not going to put them all in together. I'm going to just take the frame and I'm going to measure it. This would be five and a quarter by a, uh, four and an eighth. So this is a very nice frame die. It's well on a card. Okay. And then you have all the pieces that fit inside of it, like a jigsaw puzzle. So I'm going to put that over here like this. So we don't lose any pieces like that one just went flying and I will show you what I made this one I made as a mistake. So I did not know how to do this. Wait a minute. Is it this one or this one? Okay, so I didn't know how to do this, but I made two of them differently. Now it's this one that I made the right way this one so and it opens like this this is a card I made and it's ready for a sentiment or anything it could flip up this way if I wanted okay or flip this way so you have to to me um, looks like you have to use three colors so I cut out the whole frame in this in the white and then the pieces that cut out from the frame are the green and then the other pieces that are pink are the little pieces that fit inside the frame so this goes like this I will come back and show you so you see the 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 dies that fit inside the frame okay so that's one two three four five six seven eight dies in this whole set do so you get things like this this is my first mistake so you get something like this or something like this I didn't know how to cut it out the first time so I just cut it out I just cut these out got rid of the ones that came out of here and then I cut the cutouts. So the the inner dies. Now I have all the dies together on here. So that is a pretty nice die. It's a pretty nice um, kind of like it looks like a quilting thing. And if I could, if if I thought of it, I could have taken my jelly jelly pen and did stitch lines all the way to make it look like 
you know, quilting. Because that's what it looks like to me. Um, quilting. So that is a very, very nice die and it cuts really well. This die I had a problem with a little bit. Um, wait a minute. I think this one cut out really. This one cut out on one side, so I had to help it. It does cut really well with the other pieces. This die is really cute. And even if I had a problem with it, I would keep it anyway. Because um, I was able to help it along. I would be able to help it along anyway. So you get all these little you get two you get one handle but you cut them out twice and this is a little bag and then you get the the uh thing that looks like it covers over this might look like a um i don't know what that is honestly and here's like four flowers so i have some extra flowers and you have the bag part, which you cut twice. But on the picture, it had a strip of paper in the middle of these that made it a wider bag. I didn't make it a wider bag because if they wanted me to cut another one, they should have included that die for it. So anyways, that's how thin this bag is. So if you do not include the um, the strip that goes here and here and here, you get a very, very thin bag. I don't mind that because what I intend to use these for is a gift card bag. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? You just hand somebody your gift with a little tag hanging off saying to and from and you're done you are done it's very easy to put together better than wrapping you don't have to wrap it you just slide your gift card in give it to somebody and you're done perfect little die um that's not what it's really for it's for candies and stuff if you put that strip to make it wider here Okay, so hold on a minute. Now, I had a hard time with these next two, figuring out how to put them together, but they cut extremely well. This one is a snowman, and it comes with many different pieces, and you have to cut them all apart. So here we go. I'm going to take it out of its bag. So you get an inner piece and an outer piece and you get, so you can get a shaker out of this, which I did. Uh, I'm not very good at shakers, but you can get a shaker out of this with this right here. This is for the belly or for a lollipop. Okay. It's a shaker or a lollipop. Now, I don't know. Um, and here are the two pieces. So here's the shadow piece. Okay. This is the whole shadow piece. And guys, excuse my voice. I just got it back from being sick for so long and uh, being really, real sick. Um, but here's a shadow piece. And... Here is the real snowman that goes inside the shadow piece. You can make a little bit of a frame out of that, but it comes out wonky. So I didn't do that. This can cut um, vel um, felt. I did that, but I had to help it with scissors. It cuts paper really well. So here is your hat. Here is the belly that you put the shaker in the belly, okay? And here is the rim of the hat, right there. It's upside down. Here is the nose and the scarf. 
So that's what that looks like as a die, but separately. So here is the project that I put together in felt. So it's kind of wonky and I don't sew, so that didn't work. But even if I did sew, this would not have worked because it doesn't overlap as much as it should so you can sew it. I made a um, I made a shaker out of it. It does shake. The things do move. Um, and then there's your little scarf and I made a hat out of paper because I didn't have black felt. And then his little pumpkin, his little carrot nose and little if you could see that, see the little glistenings, um, gems for his eyes, because they don't give you any dyes for the eyes or the mouth. So I just, I just made him into a shaker. And can you hear that? So I'm not good at making shakers, guys. <laughs> so I hope you like that. But anyways, so I'm going to put this little snowman over here so I have a little more room for the next dude. The next little guy is a gingerbread, which I am really liking gingerbread. So I have the project to the side. What you get in this is, <laughs> sorry guys, you get a shadow piece you get the other piece that goes inside okay you get a heart for the belly for the shaker you get an inner heart for the shaker and then you get all the squigglies and the buttons or no these are the cheeks but I had to draw it on the mouth and I had to um, put gems in for the eyes so this is what I made it's a shaker and it is wonky I think that they should have I don't know how to make this guys so this piece right here and this piece here I could have made a frame out of it but it just didn't it's too close to do it so it wouldn't do it out of the foam so I don't know, guys. I think the next time I make one, I might just use the larger one for both. But isn't he cute? That's what that looks like. That's from Timu. The next die, which I really do like gingerbread men, but these guys are kind of, um, I don't know if you want them. I think they, they cut out really nice. They cut like butter. So the next die cuts everything like butter. So we're going to put him up here. And we're going to put her over here. So there is a bunch of pieces to her. And I don't think that I am going to buy one of these 50s dolls again i like her she cuts well it's just very tedious to put her together like here is the eyes that i lost and whatever this is right here i think it's um part of the headband or what no i don't know what that is but this is your skirt here is her shirt and her little high heel Here's her hair piece. Here's her face. Um, here is her legs. Here's her arms that are reaching up to put something up. And the boughs of the tree. And the bow on her dress. And some ornaments that she's trying to hang. So I did two of them for you. I think they're pretty, but to me, it's hard to do. So she looks kind of wonky. 
but I had to draw her lips in and I made a mistake there. I was shaking a little bit, but that's what she looks like. She does not look like what she looks like in the picture, but she's adorable and she cuts out well. And here's the other one. I wanted to use different papers and I did. So that's what she looks like. She will become a card for Christmas. And so that's what we have for our review on the Timu dies. I haven't bought any more. I've got some other dies coming in from my creative time. And um, what I will be doing is a project with you on there and a review. Uh, for my uh, my creative time um, gingers. They're five inches. They're big. So you'll like those. I'm waiting for the other one to come in. Um, and then I will do some projects with them. Or I will make a couple up. Um, I have one set of ginger now. And the other set will be here in one day. Or two days. But I'm so excited for that. I'm going to expand my reviews to other companies too. So if you'd like that, follow along. I will get a Timu die haul sooner or later. But right now, I'm waiting on doing this other thing. So, all right, let's get to our prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for sacrificing yourself, your body, your mind, your soul, your whole being, laying your life down for all of us as you call us your friends. And now, sons and daughters, thank you, Father, for sacrificing your one and only Son. As in the First Testament, it was only animals. In your last sacrifice was Jesus Christ. We thank you. No one can fathom doing that. No one. It was, I don't know, God. But we are grateful. So we cover ourselves from head to toe with the blood of Jesus Christ. That you may see us clean of our sins. And we ask Jesus to come into our hearts and our lives and live there forever and ever. And fill us with your Holy Spirit to guide us every day of our lives. With your comfort, your grace, and your mercy, and your love as well. Father God, we ask you to have us or prepare others for us to help them and minister to them that they may be healed or prayed for or loved and cared for, that you want us to do this, that we can spread the gospel because you do not want anybody to die. You want us all saved to spend eternity with you. Fill us with your gospel. Fill us with the word of God. As we drink it in and read it, wash our minds. And Father, soften our hearts. Get rid of the rocks. Or get, get rid of the stone in our heart. And please give us a heart of flesh. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything you have done. And anybody out there who is sick, and dealing with all these illnesses coming on this fall, this early. We speak those illnesses out of your body right now. In the name of Jesus. Be healed and be made whole. Be healed from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. And be made whole. And that just doesn't mean seasonal sicknesses. It means illnesses and infirmities and diseases be gone dissipate 
you no longer have any strength over our bodies. In the name of Jesus, we are healed. We claim our healing from the Lord. He is stronger than you. And we claim our supernatural health. In the name of Jesus, amen. And amen, guys. So I hope you really did like this. Um, that is our Timu review. So you don't have to. And I will get another Timu haul. Just hold on for a little bit. I have um, I have to raise the money for it. How's that? <laughs> okay. So um, I hope you had a good time listening and watching this review. These dyes are not bad. They're good. You just have to help a couple a little bit. Um, I did do what people asked me to do with all the shims and all the hard factors and trying to get them to cut better. Some of the dyes, when you feel them, when you feel them, like I was saying, you can tell if they're going to be sharp enough to cut through your paper or not. Just feel the knives on the side. These are the knives on this side and the smooth side is the side that goes down and cuts the, you know. The knives lay on top of the paper and they cut through the paper. You just feel those. That's all. All right. Don't feel too hard though. You don't want to cut yourself. All right, guys. Have a great, great week. Um, I'm trying to find my stop button. <laughs> Have a great week, and um, I wish you all well. Keep creating with love. I bless each and every one of you. Bye now. <laughs>